Hello, this afternoon we're in Holyoke, Massachusetts, and I'm going to talk about Holyoke's history in general. The past 10 years I've been given historical walking tours around Holyoke, and it includes many, many categories churches, schools, canals, cemeteries, homes I do presentations on, and we do street tours up and down the streets, usually in the commercial. Uh, section more than residential and there we go around reservoirs and all this material has led to me seeing a lot of connections between all these topics no matter what community we're inside of and that's very important so I get to see how the Catholic churches are related to one another in oil and in other communities but with oil and how all the reservoirs and brooks are related to each other how the canals are related to each other, right? And how streets were, were laid out, and how important that is, um, especially the mills to where they could be put and where they wouldn't be put. And this is very good because I've used these techniques not only in oil, the industrial city, but also in Tom Hadley, I've done that, and also in Chicopee, I've done that. Now, Chicopee is industrial part is very similar to Hoyle's industrial park, where you have worker homes and mills. And I've also done, on a small basis, research and tours in Amherst, Granby, and East Hampton. East Hampton is similar because it has residential places next to its uh, industrial mills. Now, the difference there is that in East Hampton, there's no canals, but there are reservoirs back the water up just waiting for the mill to, to use it. So it's quite a different system there. And so what I've done after 10 years is I usually get local, local cultural council grants. But this year I got an additional grant which is on the statewide level which will be called Canals in the Connecticut River Valley. It's a Massachusetts Cultural Council grant. And I'm going to be able to have walking tours some and presentations a lot in a lot of different communities that have canals in them. And there'll be power and navigation ones too. So they'll be very sexy. And for instance, in Chickabee, I'm going to have a tour plus presentation at the library there. But in Wilbraham, where they had a power canal, I'll have a talk called the Six Power Canals of the Chickabee River. And Ludlow will have the same talk. And Palmer will have the same talk. And this will be very useful. In South Hadley, I'll have both a talk and a walk. So you see that the, the point is lots of information about these canals will come out, and people will get to see the connections between them, whether it's the way they're designed or the years that they're built and how each was connected to the other. Very important. And people love to see this kind of thing. So, what I'm going to do for the last minute or so. It's just walk out and see the Holyoke Canal with you. And this is the prototype of all power canals. It might be built well after the Lumbo Canal, but I'm sorry, after the Lowell Canal, but it was built with a high degree of uh, power generation in mind. So they, they didn't waste a bit of water, a bit of high terrain, and even when the mills were put, put into place, the same thing happened. They put them together so they get as much water power used in these mills. So you see the merrick behind us, and you see, then you see the baby holder on the inside. They maximize the power where they are, and they get that all the water. And then you see the lighting in the distance. And they fit the city so well together that when they had a spike on the railroad, they wanted to come from Race Street over to the freight depot over there. They couldn't do it unless they curved it, so they curved it in. And then when they had a space over there and someone wanted to build there, they curved the building around the, the railroad tracks themselves. Okay, so the last thing to find out is how big this canal is. So we point in the direction behind me, the 
second level canal is three miles long. All right, so you're looking into an incredible, vast system. It's as long as the Lowell Canal, but it's twice as powerful. And other places try to emulate this, Turner's Falls. Other places try to emulate the South Haley Navigational Canal. All right, to finish off, finish off. The South Haley Canal became the prototype of the navigational canals around the United States. Went locks and went a certain size, and after that, flat boats had to be made at a certain size, no matter what canal was built after that, including the Bell of Falls. They didn't do it right there, they had to fix those. So you see all the connections between these things, they're quite amazing. And I hope you read my webpage and visit some of these future canal tours. Thank you.